So the number one piece of content on the site is a question you answered. What is the ideal penis size for women? Aha! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Little? Big? Fat? Thin? There, I mean, it's always interesting. You never know when you're having sex with someone for the first time what they're packing. Unless you feel it. So I had a tendency of doing that too first, so I yeah, knew okay. going in. But you never know. It can be flaccid. It doesn't have to be erect. And then uh, some guys grow more after erection. That's called a surprise package. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we're click girls. Here's the thing. Precisely that. Anything. A finger inside your vagina, well managed with good clit stem. A dream. Really. A tongue. Toys. On your clit. Mm. With a finger inside, and you can do anal penetration. You know our mantra. Vaginal, Vaginal penetration, penetration with, with clitoral stimulation. stimulation. It's, so, it's so cute the way it rhymes. And it's so easy. What it means is that, you know, you can have anything in your vagina, any size penis, and as long as you're stimulating clitoris, you'll have an orgasm. Yeah, you got a combo. Combination. But we're always pushing either or. We're always going for the vaginal orgasm. Via well, I think that's what this young man really was asking about. What is the ideal penis size for a woman to have an orgasm just from your penis? Big. It has to be big. Well, Stuart Brody just had a piece of research come out about oh, vaginal Stu orgasms. <laughs> and he says eight inches, and I think he said 20 minutes. But for me, 30 minutes of nice, slow, sensuous fucking. Now, an eight-inch penis is... Kind of rare. Quite. Quite. I've had a few in my time. <laughs> Quite. Yes. And, and, and it's like, I think in, when I first started having ongoing penetration sex mm -hmm. with Tommy, he was a skinny little guy, but he had a huge penis that was fat, and he could stay hard for a long time. Because he's young. Oh, It's yes. also about age. We're not talking about that. So... <laughs> And I was having vaginal orgasms, and so I thought, well, that's what I'll always have. Uh-uh. Wrong. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I don't think that, that vaginal orgasms are better than clitoral orgasms at all. They keep from promoting that, that, it's some, that the connection is more deep, or those feelings are more sensitive. Well, they say there's, a, like, uh, Stuart Brody, he, he made the comment that women who had vaginal orgasms had better psychological functioning, which I, I, what? Don't, I don't know how you could quantify that. And how can you separate it that it's the vaginal orgasms, it could be so many other things? Ugh. I don't know. If I had to pick between the vag and the clit, I'm going clit. I'm going clit. <sighs> yeah. And, and why pick? Why do we have to choose? And why do we have to be made to feel all the time like if we can't have a vaginal orgasm, there's something wrong with us? That we failed as a woman. Now, <laughs> you know? the, the men go around and they, they get to say what they want in terms of our size. They want big tits and little waist and big butt and little legs and long and skinny and this. And... Mm -hmm. Now, what if all the men were told, y'all got to have an 8-inch Well, that's pretty much it. You have to have an 8-inch cock and you have to be able to use it for at least 20 to 30 minutes if you want a vaginal orgasm. Now, don't hold your breath girls <laughs> and boys so why can't we just give it up i don't know there's some kind of a fixation with this <laughs> this you know they want to get the penis in there and they want you to come from the I remember the kid that said you don't get it we want you to come from our penis well in a way it's kind of you want dependence you want someone to need you because they can't have that experience with anyone else I don't. I like equal partners. I like someone meeting me halfway. I don't want to feel like I have some leverage over someone sexually or emotionally. That when I wanted to have an orgasm, I'd have to go get my partner who had an eight-inch penis. No, I want to. I want to be kind of independent that way, and I want to be with you, and I want to dance with you, and I want to have sex with you. But and I want to be able to masturbate with no penis. Just yeah, I mean, there are times where I don't do vaginal penetration it's it is different and it's fun okay now here's my experience with masturbation i went for a long time with just clit stem then later on when i got a little more mature it was kind of getting boring so now i almost always do my masturbation with vaginal penetration with clitoral Clit stimulation. stimulation i do too it's pretty much the mainstay yeah now i've got a new dildo the last one i had was 
I think only seven inches. So you have an eight incher now. You're going to try the theory. <laughs> I'm going to see what. Yeah, I'm going to see if it works. All right, ladies, grab those eight inches. <laughs> Size does matter, but it won't matter any more than we allow it to. There's a lot of other things that go into a good sex partner besides the size of his penis. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. So have fun.